Hey guys, this is Niall doing my second Blender tutorial. Uh, sorry it's been a while, I've been really busy, but i finally gotten around to doing it, so yeah! I'm going to be making um, two tutorials, which will be uploaded at different times. This first one is going to be uh, extra details to the weapon you should have made in the first tutorial. If you haven't seen the first tutorial, please go watch it. It's on this channel. It explains uh, most of the basics of Blender. It's really helpful. And in you need to know that stuff in order to know what the hell I'm going to be on about in this tutorial. So, yeah, anyway. And then the second tutorial, which I'm going to be uploading soon, or the third, whatever, is going to be reload animations or just animations in general. I haven't yet decided, but I'll basically be showing you the basics of animation and then you can take it from there. So, um, as you can see, I've got a really cool micro Uzi, which I made. Um, it's pretty cool, I'm pretty proud of this. Um, so yeah, you should have a gun by now. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this one. And this is just adding on from the last one. So, to start off with, I'm going to be showing you sort of gaps and holes like this. Um, and to show you, I'm just going to get a cube like this. And um, Alright, so this is going to be how to make holes. And then you can adapt this to make like grooves and sort of holes and shapes like I have here. Okay. So, say this cube is your gun, you're going to take a new shape, uh, for this I'm going to be using a cylinder, this new shape is going to make the hole, so the shape of the hole, you want the this shape, if that makes sense, hang on, alright, so because this, this second shape is going to make the hole. So whatever shape you want the hole to be, you need to make this shape into. So say you just want a basic hole going all the way through. You do this. Then you memorize the name, which in this case is cylinder 004. Go to your object that you want the hole to be in, um, go to modifiers, the little wrench, um, add modifier boolean, uh, difference in the operation, then just select the name, which was cylinder 004, put that in the object, and then apply. Now you can just delete your second shape, and boom, it's left a lovely hole in there. So yeah, that's how to do that. And then if you want it just to make sort of, I don't know, like just sort of sh indents or sh like shapes in the side, you just sort of position it like that to so say I want the the edge of this cube to curve inwards, just do that. And then do the same thing. There we go. Oh, I messed it up with the bomb a little bit there, but oh well, you get the idea. Okay, so that is how you do that. And that's also what I did for these screws and such. And those are those um, spheres that I used to make holes there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it on that front. Right, so now to material. Don't know if you've noticed, but this is a slightly different color to everything else. That's because I just changed it. And I haven't changed any of the other stuff yet. Um, now there are ways to make parts look like metal, which I haven't yet sort of got the hang of, but I'll, I'll show you the basic idea. 
So if we do the same sort of thing for the magazine here, what you do is you go to material, which is the little circle, new, and basically this is like what this is is this allows you to change pretty much everything about your shape, your mesh, your object. So you've got everything under here, like you can there's mirror, transparency, tons of different stuff. So what you want to do is just sort of go through all this and when you've got some free time just go through it, you know, play with some stuff, see what certain things do, just get get used to it, you know. Because this is how you sort of change the properties of the material really. So first of all, I'm gonna diffuse right here is the main color of the object. So say if I change this to red, it's now red. Looks more pink, but whatever. Blue, green, yeah. And then white. And then you just this this thing at the side is um light and dark. So I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. Then specular is the the light that shines on it. So if you have a look here on the preview, that little ball of light there that's shining on it. I'm, I'm not too sure on the names of certain things, but yeah, that's that. So if I change it to red, you can see that the shine on it is now red. And if I move, see, you can sort of see it shines red in certain places. So we want that white and intensity, just turn that up to full. We want it looking like metal. So in order to achieve that, it needs to be sort of shiny, if you get what I mean. So um, yeah, intensity all the way up, hardness, the more you turn that down, the brighter it gets. So if you watch as so I turn it down, the amount of light gets a lot larger. Uh, turn that up, maybe about eight, we can go back to it in a sec. Um, then mirror, because it's, metal is usually quite reflective, so if we just turn the reflectivity up a bit, and it only really sh hang on, if I render it, no, it doesn't really show that well in the render, like I said, I haven't really gotten that good at this yet, but it's looking kind of shiny. That's right, but yeah, sort of like that. You can just have a play around with that, and you know, try get the basic idea. But that, that's all I really know in that sort of area. Right now, textures. Okay, I'm not really that into texturing. It gets quite annoying, but whatever. All right. At the moment, for me, there's two methods in which I know of texturing. So I'll show you the first. If you make a new material, then go to texture, new, change the type to image or movie, and then under the image tab here, open, I have a folder full of textures. You can just download, like, if you go onto Google Images and just download pictures, like, say you want, um, let's say, a wood texture, just type in wood texture into Google Images and find one and download it and then put it in a folder like I have. I've made a textures folder. So for example, let's just use this AK wood. That's now there and then just change the projection and mapping to cube because it's a cube. And if I just move the camera over a little bit. As you can see, it's wood. The cube is wooden. So that's sort of the simple way of doing it. Yeah, wood. 